we're going to have our remarks there, or we're going to go to the moderator.
Out of all the school board members, you know, they're gone. I'll be the only one left on the new board this third term. So it's, uh, he's, uh, I'm not a pastor. He's right, I don't have to do any campaign unless and someone runs as an independent. Now, if someone runs, runs as an independent, then there will be uh, a campaign. I will have to put that sign. And I would still go door to door and ask for your vote because I still need your support. And that was another thing that I decided. I said, well, I'm not getting some support on the board. Um, even though you don't have children in school, these children are still part of your community. And if you're concerned about your community, then you're concerned about all the students, whether they're yours or not. So we need to work together. If something happens to someone's child, it could be your child next time, or your niece, your nephew, your grandchild, mm -hmm. niece, nephew, uh, aunt, niece, and or nephew. So, I implore you all to please come to the board meeting. Sure. So you will know what is being said, what is being done. Or either go online. It's on, you know, when we meet for our regular board meetings, you can go online and see these board meetings. And if you have any complaints, and you make your complaint, please stand behind. Mm -hmm. Don't just start and drop the ball. Or don't ask me to help, and then you drop the ball. Because at one time I decided, I said, look, I'm not taking any more complaints or anything. Because I've been left, I've been, I've been, I've been trying. And that's not a good feeling. So again, I am right up. Well, running for <laughs> a uh, member again. And I will appreciate your vote. Um, and I, I'm just asking you all to camp, uh, campaign for me. That's right. Just campaign for, you know, let's campaign for each other. Campaign for me as a board member. Because if we have an independent to run, then it's going to be in the way.
My purpose is to give to humanity, to serve others, to help them. He said, help was draw. I get down to the service. How can I help you for what you need, for what you desire? It's not, I'm a very selfless person. During the COVID period, uh, my sister and I worked on a project that I thought was going to really, to be honest with you, I was going to help Maplesville and maybe they would tell somebody else. We worked on a project to help people with arthritis. Well, it went from arthritis to sepsis to COVID. Not only did it go from Maplesville, it went to Las Vegas, it went to California. I had people constantly calling 24 7 so they could get $500 grants, $1,000. That, that was way larger than I expected and anticipated. And to this day, just the other day, I helped a lady in Alaska to be able to achieve a sepsis grant in Alaska. Because I want to give that to, 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 to humanity. And also, in Chilton County, I have to throw this in today, there are so many people struggling with pain medication. Mm -hmm. There are so many of us that's gone through so many back problems mm -hmm. uh, where you cannot have, uh, you had this service, get to have that service, yes, this, that, and up. And we have so many people on the streets right now that are suffering because they become crack addicts. Mm -hmm. These people are people that were on the Lord's and everything. I am working, getting on a board in the state of Alabama for use of medical marijuana. Medical marijuana has marijuana. A lot of people have frowned on it. You have less people with problems from uh, with medical marijuana. I used it years ago when Bill Hatley appointed me to be his director of nursing at his nursing home in Chilton County. Mm -hmm. First black director of nursing to run that nursing home in Chilton County for 15 years. Okay? okay? I had a little patient, a little old lady that was in there and had aches in her body. She would eat, she would do anything. I begged her, let me give her a marijuana pill. That lady went back to baseline, got yes, back up, yes. happy. No arthritis, no pain. Yes. So you all, there are things because it has affected us all. The, the, uh, the drugs have hit us in some kind of way in our household, our family, our communities, people that are, are very, uh, you know, the, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, time okay. Well, these are the things that I'm passionate about. And guess what? Chilton <clears throat> County have allocations. I work at the Chilton County Treatment Center for drug people that are drug addicts. Oh, they're kind of old, but they used to be hollering here and out there. On that top of that hill, Dispensing medications yeah. for people to be able to just function. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Out of 60, I have one black patient. Mm -hmm. Out of 60. Mm -hmm. Government funding mm -hmm. is available. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't know anything about it, do we? Yeah. Yeah. We gotta be an advocate because once again, drug abuse has affected each one of us yeah. some way, some capacity mm -hmm. to somebody. Okay, on top of that, there's funding for children in the school systems uh, for Jeff State, for dual enrollment. No one in Chilton County is sharing that with our children of color. Mm -hmm. They have to get what they get from our pockets or hopefully we can get a grant. Those things are in the Chilton County uh, system that, guess what, we don't know anything about. So there is so much to learn and to glean from, from the Chilton County Commission, you gotta have a voice to speak up medically, the transit. We have our family members that need to go to doctor's appointments. We may have two buses in the county, but until someone come out of Maplesville, Verbena, Thorsby, Jimmins, and come into Clinton because it's underserved. We're underserved in the county. So you need someone to have a voice to, hey, look at me so and so down there almost in Stanton near Maplesville. Look at me so and so almost at the uh, career land. These people need tra public transportation and transit system. Also, we need more affordable health care options 
get this money. She was with me. Y'all know what y'all see back in the day. She came down and said, she said she was, this is what she said. There's an automatic in Sugar County. Y'all want to know it. So they're hiding these money down into this building, a multi-million dollar uh, complex to help to house uh, concerts and everything. But so what about the now? There are resources available for the now. I want to be that advocate on the board for the people that have the uh, dirt roads still in the community. I was just at Walmart, then you know, at a house handed out uh, my phone assistant. She said, let me show you a picture. No joke, it's on my phone. They had to get a tractor to pull them in Rabina, which is in this part of Chippewa County, because Rabina does go over here. Uh, uh, a tall. So I had to do a that as far as people do like that. Um, so they had to get a tractor to pull them up the dirt road to get to their house. That makes no sense, but guess what? A commissioner does not live on that So if they're ready, roads are, we have uh, over, uh, I think, 300, 400 uh, dirt roads in Chilton County. We have so many dirt roads that you got to get out there, get the people behind you to push. When you have meetings, come on, y'all, help me. Let's push this because you pay your property taxes. I don't property taxes are high. So those monies are, majority of the money, and Ms. A, you correct me, a lot of the money from property taxes goes into funding for these roads. But the federal government, through the uh, American Rescue Act, just gave out a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Mama Kay did not give us that money. She no, don't, no. she won't get your credit. It didn't come from her. It comes from the federal government dollars that were allocated. So these things, you got to have an eye. You got to study. You got to read. And when you stand before people, I'm not intimidated. Very good. Johnny said, you got to be confident. I'm very confident that I can take a stand. Stand up, no man intimidates me because I have a voice. I have a voice for the people. Unfortunately, here in Chilton County, since Mr. A.G. was no longer been the uh, commissioner, we have not had representation for, uh, from the black community. Tisha Lee was just with me in the middle of the United Methodist Church with probably about, what, 200 some people. And what did Bobby Martin say? Really, Sheila, and he didn't have no balls about it. I just want to tell you. Sheila, Mr. Robert Benton uh, pushed where you have a seven vote system so that a black person or a person of color could get on the commission. He said, no one's ever going to go to the commission until one person won. The right is on the wall. He said, what he did has not, he fought for and got has not been fulfilled. And he wanted to say because all y'all can't run, but he really said that he was very supportive. Need one person to get that done. I just stuck that meeting, okay? And 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 he stood and wanted to stand with me with a picture to say he said that meant a lot to me. In the middle of all those white people, because probably one, two, three, four of us in the white. <laughs> also, also, you all know. The reason why we can't get on is because we do have too many of us trying to run. While I feel I'm the best candidate, I have served three terms elected Maplesville City Council one. So I have learned government from the local level. Yeah. Now it's time that we I want to step up. We all we want to be elevated, go up higher, and learn from the county level. Okay. If Terry Sewell can make it to Congress as a female, pushing and trusting and believing that I will do what I say I'm going to do, I have the same right to privilege.
in what God has called me to do in, in this, this place, in this area. I grew up right here in Clanton. I grew up in the West End, the places that some of y'all folks told y'all don't get caught over there in that West End. <laughs> but, uh, but it was a place that I, I, I learned a lot of uh, what I've been able to uh, move forward in, in, in my life. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a pastor here in, in Clanton. Uh, I pastor a church called Great Commission Christian Center. God allowed me and my wife to found it about 13 years ago. So, so I've uh, done a lot within the community. I went to Mr. Robert Binion about three years ago, maybe? Yes, I think so. Um, right because I had a concern. And my concern was that we lost our voice. We lost the seat at the table. Mm -hmm. uh, people fought hard to get us to that place, but we fought even harder to remove ourselves. Mm -hmm. And what that caused me to do was to be able to, to think about it and observe. Because I asked him personally, he said, if you're going to run, I will run. Because the problem here lies not to whether uh, it's not whether we can win the seat, but it's the strategy that we devise to get the seat. Yes. So we have three candidates. And my first thought, my first inclination was, well, I'm not going to drop out. Mm -hmm. Well, is that really the dark speaking? Which, yeah, it is. But is that really what's best for people? All right. All right. Yeah. because I think I'm the best candidate. <laughs> All right. All right. Yes. But here's, here, here, here's where it really matters. Today will be the last day that I will address you as a candidate because I'm going to yield. Regardless of whether, whether I don't, I don't, it don't matter what Kenny does, it don't matter what Sheila does. 
Right. I'm only concerned about what Mom. happens to me. Right. That's what position that we find ourselves in, black people. Now I'm saying that from a place of understanding because the last time I checked, I'm black too. <laughs> so I'm not talking to you from, from, a, from an outsider's point of view. I'm telling you about what, what the reality is. From a demographic, demographic standpoint, we are not going to get a seat at that table if one of us, one more of us, Say yes. does not make a decision. Say yes. Say yes. Oh, 